we have seen some amazing progress in the last two years, in both artificial intelligence systems specifically and computers in general. While computers have been steadily improving year on year, this trend goes back quite a way. In 1965, Gordon Moore, who went on to co-found Intel, noted that the quantity of components in integrated circuits was doubling annually. This became referred to as Moore's Law, although it wasn't a physical law, but rather just an observation. What he actually said was that the number of transistors on an integrated circuit will double every year with minimal rise in cost. This prediction was revised in 1975 to say the transistor count would double every two years. The point about a minimal rise in cost was important as the semiconductor industry made this into their guide for long-term planning. Today, the pace at which transistors are shrinking in size has slowed, leading to it taking longer than two years to double the component count. However, new approaches and architectures have meant that more and more can be crammed into these integrated circuits. System on a chip, once just a dream, has very much arrived. While those, both in the industry and the general public, thought that this semiconductor pace to be frenetic, the pace at which AI is running it truly takes your breath away. Some estimates say that AI performance on complex tasks could double roughly every three to seven months. The computer power needed to train these ever more complex AI models is also increasing, with estimates of a four to five times increase per year. Although the pace at which both computers and AI improve shows no sign of slowing down, you have to ask the question, just how long can this continue? If we look specifically at the AI systems, we need to take into account the three areas which are contributing to AI success. Firstly, the increase in raw compute power. Secondly, improvements to processing algorithms. And finally, feeding AI systems with much greater amounts of data. Leopold Aschenbrenner, an AI researcher and investor, along with Jacob Nielsen, a Danish expert in web usability and human-computer interaction, have both covered this topic. The substantial growth in raw computing power allows for greater processing capacity. The FLOPS count rises. FLOPS stands for floating point operations per second on processors, GPUs or specialised AI accelerator chips. What is important, however, is the effective compute, the transformation of these raw GPU cycles into AI results. Additionally, advancements in the core AI algorithms have changed AI from barely managing to generate a sentence or two in 2019 to, by 2023, being capable of passing exams designed for 18-year-olds. So in four years, the intelligence of AI has gone from the equivalent of a four-year-old human to that of an 18-year-old. Naturally, AI systems are not presently regarded as conscious, and it is not reasonable to compare them directly to humans. But this measure does emphasise the advancements they have achieved. So what else has contributed to this tremendous spurt in AI technology? Well, basically, money. Hundreds of billions are now being spent by every country and technology company wanting to have a piece of the action. For the algorithms, almost everyone working in computing who can now wants to work in this field. So with the combination of monetary investment and large amounts of human resource, is it any wonder that the pace for AI is picking up. We are also starting to see technology convergence with AI systems. AI is now being used 
to design other things, and not just to produce pretty pictures. But will this last? When a trend shows itself to be constantly heading in one direction, it's tempting to extrapolate this forward to predict future events. Whether this is a rising share price or a gambler betting that the next hand of cards will be as good as the last. There are no guarantees. From the South Sea bubble of the year 1720, which triggered a financial crisis, to the global financial crisis of 2008. Downturns can be dramatic. However, much can be learned from these events, especially by looking at activities and practices that are unsustainable. So what is likely to be unsustainable in the rise of computing power and AI intelligence? Resources. AI technology hardware consists of microchips composed of rare earth elements, which are frequently extracted through methods that harm the environment. The mining process commonly causes significant soil erosion and raises the level of pollutants affecting nearby communities. Energy. Companies that invest in AI have experienced a significant rise in their total energy use while advancing this new technology. Over the past five years, Google's carbon emissions have grown by 48% due to the incorporation of AI in their data centres. And Microsoft's carbon emissions have gone up by 30% in the last four years. Significant efforts are underway to enhance the power efficiency of AI systems. But it is probable that these more efficient systems will be employed to perform additional tasks rather than simply completing the same amount of work more efficiently. It has been reported that a single chat GPT query consumes 10 times the energy of a traditional non-AI Google search. Water. For each kilowatt hour of energy that the data centres consume, about 2 litres of water are needed for cooling purposes. The demand for water is only increasing as more AI data centres are constructed. According to some estimates, AI data centres worldwide use six times the amount of water consumed by the entire country of Denmark. Data. AI researchers foresee a possible scarcity of high quality training data for AI systems with some anticipating this could happen as soon as 2026, while others estimate the exhaustion of low-quality data between 2030 and 2060. This shortage is mainly caused by the growing need for data to train bigger and more intricate AI models, especially in natural language processing. There are significant challenges ahead, and more than a few problems to be solved. Rather than think of ourselves as an AI doomsday prepper, getting ready for the collapse of everything, perhaps working to prevent a collapse might be a better use of our time. While it is probably irrational to assume that in the future computers and AI will continue to progress at even faster rates than today, it's worth noting that in the history of the world, empires have fallen, civilizations have disappeared, and many species, including some human ones, have become extinct. There are no guarantees, but as necessity is the mother of invention, we may need to learn to do more with less, and continually ask the question before we do something, is this really a good idea? But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to click on the link in the description below to discover more videos.